Hello everyone, this is Emmanuel, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a blog to your WordPress website and how to customize it with Elementor Pro. So if you have your website just like this one, but you don't have a blog page, the first thing you're going to do is go to your dashboard by clicking on your name in the top left corner or clicking dashboard, that works too. Then you're going to go to pages and we're going to set up a brand new page, which is going to be your blog page. So we're going to click add new and we're going to load for a second and then we can title it whatever we want. Uh, I'm going to title it blog. Okay. And we're going to click publish and publish again. And that's it. Now this is just a blank page right now. Uh, it's not really anything. Um, we can leave it like that for now. We're going to click on the top left to go back to the dashboard again. Now that we have this page, we have to actually tell WordPress that this is not just a normal page, that this is going to be the blog page. So to let WordPress know that any post that we make for our blog should be sent to this page, what we have to do is go to settings and go to reading and we're going to click right there. And then uh, here in these options where we have the home page, which is a static page and the post page, which is your blog page, we have to pick a page for it and we're going to click the blog page that we just made. So that's going to let uh, WordPress know that all the posts need to be shown on this page. So we're going to click save changes and it's going to load and save. The next thing we want to do is uh, we want this blog to actually show up in our website's menu when people go to it. So let's go ahead and add this page to the menu. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to appearances and then we're going to go to menus and it's going to load for a second. All right. And here's our website's current menu. Uh, what we're going to do is pick the blog page, which it's not showing here. We can click view all. All right, here it is the blog page. And we're going to check that one and click add to menu. And we can add it here at the end. You can also move it to a different part uh, of your menu, wherever you want it to be. Um, I'm just going to have it right here at the end and we're going to click save to add that to the menu. Okay, perfect. So now if we click on our name again, we can actually see what our website looks like. Now that we added that to the menu, just to make sure everything is going smoothly. So here we have our menu. This is a button that's separate. And here is the last menu item, which is the blog page. And if I click this uh, right now, it's just going to show empty. There is no post or blog or anything that we've created yet. So blogs have two portions. First is the archive page. So that's what this blog page is going to be. It's going to show all of our posts once we have them. And the next is the post page, which is when somebody actually clicks on a post, what that is supposed to look like. So uh, I'm going to go back to the dashboard and let's make a fake post. So to do that, we're going to click here where it says post. And we can add a new post by clicking add new. And here we can add what our post is going to be called. So um, hello everyone. Whoops. Right. And then we can write a little bit here. Whoops. All right, and we can set an image for the post to show. To do that, you go to document, you're going to go to featured image, and this is the image that's going to be shown um, front and center. So we're going to click set a featured image, and you can upload an image from your computer by clicking here where it says upload file, or you can pick an image um, that you already have in your uh, WordPress. So that's going to be the featured image. You can also add an image to your blog post by clicking this little plus right here. And here you can add an image, paragraphs, a gallery, headings, quotes, uh, audios, all kinds of things. Uh, I'm going to add an image here from my media library again. I'm going to add a different one. So I'll add this one just to make a little example blog post. Okay, so there it is. We're going to click publish and publish again. And we can see what this post looks like by clicking here where it says view post. And this is what it looks like right now. Kind of basic, kind of ugly, a little bit disorganized. If we click on blog, uh, we can see that it's a little bit more organized, but still pretty basic, not that great. So now we're going to set up uh, a template for the archive page, this blog page, and for the blog post. To do that, we're going to go back to the dashboard. And it's going to load in right there. Then we're going to go to Elementor, uh, and then we're going to go to right here under Elementor templates. This is with Elementor Pro and we're going to click add a new template 
and it's going to be for an archive and we're going to call it blog you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it blog to make it easier to remember create template and with elementor pro we're going to get some uh, examples that we can copy here they are and we can import any of these we can also import some of these uh, that's the easiest way to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of both i'm going to import a little part and then i'm going to add my own uh, my own twist to it so um this is a really simple one which is just like a little box with a picture and a title i'm going to insert this one and it's going to get right inserted right into the page the layout all right so this is what it's going to look like um there's only one post so it's really hard to tell what it's fully going to look like but it's pretty much going to be boxes like this every time they add a new post so uh, I'm gonna make a few changes just to make it my own. I wanna add a nice big image here and I wanna write blog instead of uh, archives. So I'm gonna click plus right here to add a new section, uh, just like this. I'm going to add a background image by clicking in the center and clicking style and then going to background type uh, image and we're gonna add an image. And now we can pick an image for our background and let's see uh, this one looks pretty cool. I'm gonna add this one. All right, insert media. All right, now to make it look good up here, we're going to make it centered and we're gonna make the size cover so that it fits the screen evenly. We have to add some space here. So we're gonna go back to all of our options in Elementor by clicking up here and we're gonna find a spacer and put it in there. It's gonna give us a little bit of space. We need a little bit more. Let's put 150. All right, and let's right click and put duplicate. Now we have 300 and now we can actually get this archives uh, and delete it. And we can actually bring a new heading and put it right in the middle of two spacers and we can center it and we can call it. Um, uh, maybe we can call it news and updates. All right, that's a little bit hard to see, so we can go to style. And text color, we can make it white so that it's a little bit easier to read. We can also go to typography and make the font a little bit bigger. All right, perfect, 65 looks good. You can also change the font weight and font type here in these options, but I like this font. Um, the other thing I wanna do is make this background a little bit darker just so that this is easier to read a little bit more. So we're gonna click right here in the center and we're going to click on background overlay, classic, and we're gonna pick the color black, just make sure it's black. And then we can make it darker or lighter. So I'm gonna do about, I think 35 is good. You can see the image and you can read it easily as well. Okay, um, there's a little bit too much space up here. I'm gonna bring this up by clicking here. This is either padding or margin. Or margin. I can go to advanced to check and it is padding. We can change it from 100 to 50. Um, still too much, maybe maybe 10. All right, that's better. Um, perfect. Uh, I want to take off this thing here where it says uncategorized so I can click to edit this uh, element as well. And I can go here where it says uh, metadata and I can remove the comments. Uh, I can also remove the date. I like removing the date. So that way the articles don't look old when they've been there a while. Um, badges we can turn that off that is actually what says uncategorized uh, the read more i want to make it blue so that it matches the blue of the website so style uh, let's see content should be content here we go read more and we're going to choose blue which is the color that we want so this looks a lot better and we're going to click publish and add a condition uh, include in all archives that's it and then click save that's gonna load up and save. All right, and we're gonna click a little preview button now to take a look. And here is our new blog page, awesome. So let's click on blog again just to refresh. Great, that looks much better than the blank one. Uh, now we can also click here and read more to see what the post page looks like. And this one still looks kinda bad. So now let's work on that one. We can close out this blog editor. Let's go back to the dashboard. And now we're gonna go back to templates. And then we're gonna click add new again. And this time it's going to be 
uh, single or a single post and single post and we're just going to call this post and click create template and this way every time you add a new blog post it'll automatically be formatted to that correct design that you want so again it brings us some examples here and we can scroll down to see if there's any that we like um, let's see let's see there's a couple here I like keeping it simple so I'm gonna do let's see let's see something simple 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 okay I know which one I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one so we're gonna click insert and click yes all right it's gonna insert that template for us so this background here is automatically going to be the featured image and I think all right, there you go. So it's importing um, an example from the blog post that we created. Um, I don't want it to say the category, so I can right click and delete that. Um, I don't want it to have a time and date, so I can right click and delete that. This is the content. Um, I want this to be a different color also, and I don't want these two things to be so close together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a divider and put it in between just to kind of break that space up a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to be so long. Maybe it can be like 80% and centered like that. Um, let's make it blue like the rest of our website. And let's make it a little bit thicker. Maybe two. Let's see how that looks. All right. And the gap, mm, maybe a little bit more like 30. Great. There's the content. There's an image. Uh, share. We can leave the share buttons. This admin, uh, we can delete that comments i don't like uh, having the comments because sometimes people leave spam comments so i'll delete that i'll delete this title for the comments just the share is fine this text let's make it blue by going to style and clicking blue and the title let's make it blue as well so that it matches perfect so here we have our featured image our title our content and some share buttons and we're going to click publish and the conditions are include in all posts. That's fine. Click save. And it's going to save right there. And we can preview it. Okay, this is just a preview. This is not what the final one is going to look like. We can go back to our actual website. Go to blog. Click on read more on this post. And there we have what it would actually look like. And we can see that the, there's an issue. There's no title. And this background is kind of crazy. So we have to fix some things. What happens if you need to fix something after you publish it? Very simple. You're going to hover over here where it says edit with Elementor. And now instead of just being able to click here, you can click um, on the post page as well. So we're going to click post. And we can fix this mistake that we just noticed. So we noticed that there is no header. And we noticed that this image is not centered properly, even though here it looks centered properly. So to fix this image, we're going to click right here in the center. Oops, click right there. Click on style, featured image. And we see that here it's supposed to be centered and cover. So for some reason, it's not noticing that. So let's do something. Let's remove fix, put a default, and then cover. So maybe that'll refresh the settings that are controlling this. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, right, there's no menu. So to fix that, we're going to go here to this little settings gear. And you see here canvas. Canvas means remove the header and the footer. Um, so we can change this to uh, Elementor full width. All right. And we're going to click update. And hopefully that will fix the little issue that we saw. And let's click preview. We might have to go to the blog page. Uh, let's go to the blog page. And let's click on this now. And hopefully it got fixed. Let's see. Uh, for some reason, it's not, it fixed the menu issue, but it's not fixing the page issue for some unknown reason. So let me try one more thing. Let's go back here. And maybe instead of cover, we'll just have default or maybe contained. Let's do contained, which is the smallest version to see if something is happening where it's not sending the information over properly. Let's see. And I'm leaving this in because these are issues that you guys might have. 
um, and it's perfectly normal. Sometimes websites do not cooperate. Like here you see, it is not cooperating with what I want it to do. So when something like this happens, don't stress it. It's very simple. We're just gonna have to do this ourselves. We're gonna make a new section right here, create it like that. All right, we know we're gonna have some space. So we're gonna plop in a spacer, bam. We're gonna make it nice and big, maybe 350 like that. We're gonna add a background image. And that image is gonna be, we're gonna click this little gear set, see if we can do, uh, we're gonna have a, just whatever background image we want. And let me choose one, let's see, this building is gonna be fine. All right, insert, cover, center, center. All right, and then what we'll do is, uh, we'll have the featured image We'll have the featured image up here instead, right under the name, like that. And we'll delete this. Perfect, see? Okay, update. So sometimes it gets stuck, guys. It is what it is. You know, don't beat yourself up about it. All right, we're gonna refresh. All right, see, there you go, now it's working. So that's just how life is sometimes. Uh, we're gonna go to blog and check it one more time looks good read more and looks good perfect so that's how you add a blog post template and a blog template and how you can fix some issues that sometimes just happen in life guys that's just this is real life web design not not perfect not the perfect world where everything works perfectly all the time um, i'm going to go ahead right now and add a few more blog posts just so that you guys can see what it would look like if it was finished All right, so once your blog page is done and you have a couple of blog posts posted on there, this is how it should look. You have a nice heading on here, you have a nice display. It's much easier and much better to read than the default one. And if you click one of these, it also looks a lot nicer when you go to read the post. And this will just load up and there you have it, your title, your featured image, your content, um, and everything else that we set up in the blog like the share links so guys that's how you add a blog page and customize it with wordpress and elementor pro if you guys have any question or need any help you guys can leave me a comment remember to like this video it helps me uh, reach more viewers as well thank you guys so much have a great day bye bye